As we know, Unity is widely used for developing video games for computers and mobile platforms. To start making games with Unity, you'll first need to install it on your computer. Unity is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS. Before installing the Unity engine, you'll need to download Unity Hub. To do this, open any internet browser and go to the official website, unity.com. From the top navigation bar, click on Plans and Pricing to navigate to the Unity Products page. Here, you can select Unity's Personal Plan, which is free as long as your Unity-generated revenue is under $200,000 USD over the past 12 months, making it a fantastic option for indie developers. Under the Unity Personal Plan, click on the Download Now button, which will take you to the download page. Click Download to begin downloading Unity Hub to your computer. Once Unity Hub is downloaded, open the installer. Start by accepting the license agreement. Then choose a destination folder where Unity Hub will be installed and click Install. Within a few moments, Unity Hub will be available on your desktop. Click Finish to complete the installation with Run Unity Hub checked. When Unity Hub opens, it will automatically prompt you to install the latest Unity Editor. You can choose where to install the Unity Editor, then click Install Unity Editor, or skip and proceed to install manually. To install manually, go to the Installs tab and click Install Editor. You can select from various versions of the Unity Editor in the Official Releases tab, with beta or pre-release versions available under Pre-releases. We'll install Unity 6, an official release, so click on the Install button. At this stage, you can choose modules to install along with the editor. Modules are optional components that can help you tailor your installation to suit your needs. Limiting the modules selected will reduce the installation size. If you don't already have Visual Studio installed, check this module. It's essential for coding your game. To build for Android, Choose the Android Build Support module. For iOS, select iOS Build Support. Remember, these modules are optional, so only select those you need as they will take up additional disk space. Other options include Mac Build Support for Mac OS, WebGL Build Support for web development, and Windows Build Support if you want your game to run on Windows PCs. You can also select additional languages if needed, but English is the default. Enabling documentation is also recommended as it provides essential resources. Once you've selected the modules, click Continue. Next, agree to the terms and conditions for Visual Studio, Android SDK, and NDK. Finally, click Install. The download process will start, and once each module is downloaded, it will be installed automatically. When the Visual Studio module downloads, Check to see if the Visual Studio installer is prompting you to continue. Click Continue to proceed. And in the Visual Studio installer, select Game Development with Unity under the Workloads. Then click Install. Once Visual Studio installation completes, close the installer. You can log in or create one now, or you can skip this step. I'll leave the development setting at General and set the theme to Dark, then start Visual Studio. Now Visual Studio is ready to use. For now, you can close it. The download and installation process can be lengthy. If Visual Studio's prompt is behind Unity Hub's installer, you might not notice it, and it can make the process seem to take forever. On my PC, the entire setup took about 34 minutes to complete. Finally, Unity is ready to use, and you're all set to create games for Android, iOS, Windows, and web browsers. If you want to add more modules or remove existing ones, you can always adjust these from the gear icon. I hope you've successfully installed Unity. If you have any difficulties, feel free to comment below. And if you found this helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.